stars of Jane the Virgin tell me why their breakout hit works so well, but first, Liza Minnelli is admitted to rehab for substance abuse. What it is sitting all alone in your room? Liza Minnelli has reportedly been in a Malibu rehab facility for several days. Alcohol is rumored to be the main issue. A spokesperson for the 69-year-old star tells people that, quote, considering she's doing so well, we expect that she'll be released shortly. The Oscar winner has struggled with substance abuse for many years. She was treated for alcohol addiction and prescription drug use back in 1984 and most recently went to rehab in 2004. Her mother, the singer and actress Judy Garland, also battled addiction and died of an overdose in 1969. In 2010, Minnelli was offered half a million dollars to appear on the reality show Celebrity Rehab, but chose not to. Jane the Virgin is breaking barriers on TV and earning major love along the way. I chatted with the stars at Paley Fest in LA who told me the secrets to the show's success. What's up, Canada? What's up, Canada? No, I'm just joking. Just joking. We, we tease Brett. We tease Brett about being Canadian all the time. What's it been like? This has got to be a crazy ride from a kid from London. It's pretty sweet, man. I never thought this would happen to me, that's for sure. Everybody's so grateful and yeah. gracious to be here. That's the ticket. The most amazing thing about the show is that we have a, a beautiful group of human beings yeah, that came together. Chat. We love each other very much. We Go legit on. have a group chat. No, you don't. Absolutely. Where's my phone? Do you have my phone? I'll show you right here. We get Literally, yeah. There's, a, there's videos and stuff. This is amazing. This is Justin actually showed us your group chat. He showed you the group chat. You can check your phone. Are we gonna, by the end of the season, have the show change its name? Right. Yeah, it could happen. The show title would just be Jane, and then the version would have a, a line <laughs> through it. Justin and Brett were both deciding who was gonna change the title of the show to Jane, and then the version scratched They're out. So They're so ridiculous. Fighting over. From a Golden Globe win to having massive success with this series, what has this year been like for you? Just complete shock. Just like, is this really happening? To me, like, ego is the death of talent. So many people sadly get sucked into this industry that's like, da -da 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 -da, and you're like, whoa, am I? Yes, of course I am, aren't I? I need people to be around to say, like, no, girl. No, girl. <laughs> I'm just glad that the show's getting recognized for what it is, because it's very, it's a pretty special show. The beautiful thing is that young girls are going on this journey with me. She's rubbing off on me because it's empowered me. And I'm like, what am I going to be afraid of? I've got nothing to be afraid of. I ain't scared of you. We're inside lightning in a bottle, and it's such a blessing. From one spectacular cast to another, the stars of Danny Collins hit up the film's premiere in New York last night. Al Pacino plays a famous aging rock star in the dramedy, but on the red carpet, he revealed his own perspective on fame. You know, as you go on, you find different ways because you realize the importance of being grounded. And I, I don't, I don't uh, take drugs or drink. That helps. Stay tuned for our interviews with the cast of Danny Collins coming up April 1st. Gladiators, get ready. Lena Dunham is coming to scandal tonight as Kinky Sue, a woman intent on exposing sex secrets about Washington's elite. And it sounds like she's going to have a major showdown with Olivia Pope. Don't miss the drama tonight on City. The Duchess of Cambridge has announced her due date, and it sounds like Prince George will be getting his little brother or sister in mid to late April. Kate revealed the news during a charity event yesterday. She has been out and about so much, some with Prince William. They're happily reunited, and they're spending as much time together as a team as they can before Kate, you know, kind of disappears with her baby. There's going to be a, a tremendous amount of excitement, of course, but I think it would be hard to beat that first royal baby. Get the insider details about Royal Baby number two in this week's issue of Hello on newsstands and your next issue app today. Now that wig Lena Dunham is wearing for a scandal guest appearance is sparking some major debate. What do you think of it? Tweet us at NCity.